Hey guys, happy Monday. I am just now getting started on dinner. So I meant to go grocery shopping today. I worked from home, so I was going to do it over my lunch break, but I didn't get a chance and I was gonna start dinner earlier, but I didn't get a chance to. So we're starting it now. It's just after 5.30 and I'm just gonna use what we have, use up produce that I have and uh, use some meat from the freezer and just make it happen. So let me show you what we're working with tonight. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I think we're gonna do salad. I've got um, this Hearts of Romaine salad bag and this mixed greens um, bucket, and these both need to be used up. Um, carrots, tomatoes, and this is just a knob of cucumber I've got left. So I'll put all that together and make a salad. Um, here, this is straight out of the freezer. It's rock solid, so I've got chicken tenders. Those are just um, like chicken tenderloins. And then this is a slab of bacon, um, half a pound. So I need to thaw both of these in the microwave and get those going. Um, also some eggs. I will just boil all of these. I'll buy more eggs when I'm at the store. So I'll probably just boil all of these and we'll probably have a few in the salad and then a few for the rest of the week. And here are how the salads turned out. Um, so it's Sunday afternoon, evening. It's actually just after six o'clock. I've been gone all day today and I was gone most of the day yesterday and Matt has been out of town this weekend on a friend's bachelor trip. So he's getting home tonight. He'll probably land. Um, they went to Denver, which is so funny because it's snowing there. <laughs> um, and it's like hot outside here today. But um, he'll, he'll probably land in another hour and a half or so. And um, I wanted to get started on dinner because I want to make some chili. So um, should be pretty easy. I have the meat already made. It's just some leftover steak and I have beans and tomatoes and um, all the good stuff to put in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. All right guys, so I've got the onions and peppers in there. I just had half of that yellow pepper that I needed to use up. Um, otherwise, I probably would not use bell peppers. Um, if you have it, use it, um, that's great. I just like to use up what I have. Um, but if you don't have it, that's totally okay. The onion is perfect. So I've got out the other things I'm gonna add. So I've got cumin and chili powder. I've also got some garlic. I wanna cut up a few cloves of that and stick that in there. I've got this chili seasoning. It's very old and I'm pretty sure it's, you know, expired. <laughs> I still use it. Um, it's just not as like pungent. So um, I use other spices as well as a taco seasoning. I've also got diced tomatoes with chilies. That's sort of like rotel. And then um, chili black beans in a mild chili sauce. So I'll add those in there. Um, this is tomato paste. I just freeze extra of it that I have and I just put it in a thin layer. So I'll break off some of that, put that in. It also helps thicken and give you more tomato flavor. And this is a leftover steak. I'm just going to cut that up real fine and add that in. Um, so that should be it. I'll add water or chicken broth. I have a better than bouillon chicken base that I can use as well. So um, that's it. Oh, and I just did a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. So I might add more olive oil if I need. So I added in the spices and then a little bit more oil and I'm kind of like letting those spices fry up in the oil. So that's what's going on right now. And here's how the chili turned out. It got super thick after I let it simmer for probably a good 30 minutes. And um, it tastes so good, really flavorful. That steak kind of broke down in there and 
um, that tomato paste did a really great job. I also added in a little um, ketchup just to help um, give it a little more tomato flavor. Not much, just squeezed in um, a little bit and um, wanted to add a bit of sweetness because it was fairly spicy. So that's how it turned out. It's really good. This will make awesome leftovers for lunches. Hey guys, so here's the chili. I just heated it up today. I'm working from home today. It's actually early. It's just about 11.30 and I'm really hungry because I didn't really have breakfast. So here's the chili reheated and I'm going to add some sour cream and a little bit of cheese to it. So that is what I'm having for lunch. Hey guys, so I'm getting started on dinner tonight. I have this big steak. I bought it last night. I just ran to Kroger really fast last night and bought, you know, maybe like $30 worth of stuff just because I didn't know what I was going to make for dinner last night. And I was going to go to Chick-fil-A, but the Chick-fil-A is right next to Kroger and the Chick-fil-A line was so long. So I'm like, let me run into Kroger. So last night we had sushi and I just ate some leftovers from the fridge. So However, I found this. Um, this is a top sirloin steak, and it's really thick and huge. It's um, 1.6 pounds, was 16.08, and it was marked down a little bit, down to $11. So I'm just gonna cook this up really simply with like salt and pepper, and um, keep some of it for over, um, you know, for tomorrow. Today's Thursday, so maybe have it for tomorrow for lunch. Um, for the weekend my husband's gonna be out of town so I can just nibble on leftovers and have that with different things so tonight I was thinking we gotta make it into pitas so I bought these pockets last night everything seasoning um, 80 calories for one of those uh, hummus these mixed greens were from Aldi I went there the other day uh, cucumber that I wrapped up there um, tomatoes, a bell pepper that I need to use up. I just pulled this cheese out. I know that Mexican doesn't go, but thinking kind of a sort of Mediterranean-ish kind of steak pita type thing. And I have fruit, I have apples and clementines. So that'll be dinner. We're going to try to eat fast because Matt's going um, to Denver. He's going to a um, friend's bachelor trip so he needs to get boots because it's super cold there so we're gonna eat fast and then go out and buy him some boots it is already um what time is it oh it's already almost seven I yeah ended up working late and um uh had a meeting late so okay I'm gonna stop talking and just get started And here's how the pitas turned out. So we've got the steak in there and all the veg. All right, guys, so the vegetables are steaming up here. So I'm going to make a little, I'm um, going to push them all sort of to one side and make some room in there. And I'm um, going to go ahead and add the sauce, smoked sausage. So I have just some turkey, um, turkey sausage. I cut all this stuff up last night just to help make it quicker today. Um, so this was just one whole smoked sausage, and I used turkey, kielbasa, 
So I'm just going to let that brown up a little bit. I realize not every piece is going to get contact with the skillet, but <clears throat> that's okay. Some of them will. So I'm going to let that cook for a little bit and get brown. Okay, so there's how it's going with the sausage in there. I'm going to go ahead and add some diced tomatoes here. This is just one can with the sauce included. Um, I think it will need more liquid, so I'll probably just add a can of that uh, water. Um, but I want to get going with this and see how that goes. Okay, I added a little bit more of the Tony's, um, Tony Chachery Creole seasoning. This stuff, if you've never used it, it's a little bit spicy to me. Um, and it's also pretty salty. So whenever I use that, I don't use salt anywhere else. Um, and then I'm going to add in these shrimp um, tail, sorry, um, tail off peeled and deveined large shrimp. So those are still frozen. I pulled them out of the freezer. So I will just stick those in as they are partially frozen when the time comes. So I just added in um, one can of wa worth of water. So I just filled up this Hunt's can with water. So that's probably about two cups, just shy of two cups of water. And I'm gonna let this come back up to a simmer. And in the meantime, I will just toss in, I have just two bay leaves here, I'll toss those in. So I'm not sure how much flavor that's gonna add, but I thought it'd be nice to a nice touch to put it in there so I just got to remember to take those out so I'm gonna let this boil up and simmer away for a little while and then I'll add my shrimp at the last minute there we go <laughs> So I added um, oregano, thyme, and paprika. I found a recipe online um, for Cajun seasoning that called for those. I tasted it and it was kind of one note. Also very spicy. Be careful with that Tony's stuff. This is not even my first time using it. I think it's just because it's the only seasoning in there. It became really overpowering. So I did also add a touch, like a scoop of... Um, probably like a tablespoon of sugar just to kind of cut the, um, the the hotness. It was so hot. Okay, so I'm gonna add in these shrimp and they are like still frozen. There they go. Oh, okay, so I just added in the shrimp. Be careful. <laughs> um, and they're still partially frozen. So I'm gonna keep this going. I cut the heat back to a simmer, but now that I put those in, I'm gonna put it back up um, to about medium. So just gonna let this go um, until the shrimp are finished cooking and that will be ready to eat. Um, I also finished up my rice over here. I just went ahead and unplugged it. I love this little rice cooker, so good. Oh, look at that steam.